Hey, what's up guys? I am Jerome from the Bonsai Supply and welcome to this week's episode. Now in this week's video, I am going to show you how to create a root over rock in just a few easy steps. And here are some of the things that you are going to need. So you're going to need some tools, obviously, just basic tools. You're going to need pliers, scissors, and a chopstick, and you're already there. You're going to need some good free-draining bonsai soil. I'm using our all-purpose bonsai soil mixture. You're going to need a rock, of course, which is one of the most important things of this composition. Now, make sure that when you choose a rock, that you choose a rock that has character. Don't just choose a boring, round, smooth rock. Choose one that has sharp edges, is uneven, that creates character. Next up, you're going to need a pot. You're going to need some screen. We're going to use these to cover the drainage holes at the bottom of the pot. Some new aluminum wire. A, a tree, of course. I am using a, a Vitex Trifolia. And if you watched our last week's video, you know all about these species by now. Hopefully, if you missed that video, you can go back at the end of this video and check that video out. Now, last but not least, we're going to use some moss. Now, this is not live moss. This is just dead moss. You can find this at any big box store and we are going to use this to cover the roots once the tree is attached to the rock. Now without further ado, let's get right to it. Now the first step is to defoliate your tree because as you have learned in previous videos is that we don't repot trees when they have leaves on them unless they are conifers or evergreens. But this Vitex trifolia is a tropical tree, so it is necessary for me to remove all of the leaves so that the tree can recover much faster. Once the tree is defoliated, I'm going to go ahead and start to trim this tree back. All of this long leggy growth, I don't need. I want to cut it back to the most interesting part of the branches. Then once I have trimmed it back, I can go ahead and take this tree out of its container and start to rake out the roots. I want to make sure that I remove all of the uh, previous soil. I just want to have roots, so I'm going to go ahead and bare root the entire tree. Now that the tree is bare rooted, I go ahead and I place the rock into the uh, container. And as you see, we, we set up the uh, container, the drainage holes with the uh, screens to prevent the uh, soil from falling out of the bottom. So once I have positioned the uh, rock in the container, I use a wire and I place it underneath of the uh, rock and then place the tree on top of the rock. Now I'm going to use that wire, of course, to then essentially tie the tree against the rock. And as you can see here, I'm splitting the root ball with my scissors so that I can get a better fit of the tree against the rock. And this takes numerous times of trial fitting, removing some more roots, trial fitting again. And then once I have found that sweet spot where the rock and the tree kind of get married together, that's when I use the pliers and I, and I attach the tree to the rock with an aluminum wire because I want them to be snug and compressed against each other. That way, the, rock, the tree will start to attach itself to the rock and it will look a, a lot better uh, some years down the road when I will go ahead and remove the moss. Now, as you can see, the roots don't really actually go into the soil or go past the rock at this point, but that's okay. And this is why I'm using that dead moss and you can use sphagnum moss, you can use life moss, any type of moss so that we can use that to cover those exposed roots so that they don't get dried out by the sun. And now this is a very cool technique that I use here. I press the moss against the root ball and then I take some aluminum wire and this is like a two millimeter. I bend it in half into like a, a little uh, hook or like a clip and then I use that clip to uh, secure the moss into place. Now that way I don't have to use any shrink wrap or I don't have to use any string to attach the uh, moss against the root ball. 
when I use these little pins, the moss actually stays in place a lot better. Now next up, I'm gonna fill the uh, pot with our all-purpose bonsai soil mixture, which is uh, made out of calcine clay, pumice, lava rock, and pine bark. And I just make, uh, I just put in, pour in a uh, fine layer, and then I can place the rock on top of that soil layer, and then position it once again. Now I didn't actually. Um, tie the rock into the pot because the rock is quite large and heavy and it's very sturdy inside the pot but if you happen to use a smaller rock or the rock is not very sturdy you might want to consider tying the rock into the pot as well now here I'm using some more moss to guide the uh, roots eventually from the rock into the soil and so as you can see now all of this entire section of the rock is covered with that moss so that the roots can safely grow uh, against the rock but then also follow the rock along into the soil and this is the finished composition check it out so now that this composition is finished for today I will take this and move it into a, a spot where it gets morning sun but then afternoon shade because we are still in the middle of the summer and you may have noticed that the uh, roots do not touch the soil just yet so therefore I want to make sure that I give it some sun but not too much sun now once the tree starts to actively grow and all of the growth from here has extended out about five inches that's when I know the roots have probably reached the soil I can then peak and if they have I will move this composition out into full sun and then in the fall when the temp temperatures start to drop below the uh, 60 degree mark I will go ahead and protect this tree with the rest of my tropical trees. So now I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions you can leave those down in the comment section. Um, if this is your first time coming across our YouTube channel and you like bonsai you may consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you're always up to date when a new video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.